Today, I wanna to share with you a clip from one of my current favorite rock drummers, this guy named Connor Dennis. And in this clip, he is laying down this killer solo. And within the drum solo are some kind of classic rock licks that I thought would be fun for us to break down and use as fills today. So let's check it out. Yeah, you catch that little halftime shuffle thing at the end? That was pretty slick. So yeah, as you can see, he's mean. He is a powerful rock drummer. Love his vocabulary, love his approach. So yeah, today I've taken four of the licks that he just played and I'm gonna break them down for you guys and we're gonna use them as fills, like I said. So I wanna start by just playing for you what our end goal is gonna be. Check it out. I know that was pretty fast. Don't worry, we're gonna take things slow and work up to that tempo. There is one thing I wanna mention before we break the fills down, and that is that they all have one very important thing in common. These are all linear fills, which means that you kinda have this streamline of notes where no two notes hit at the same time. Instead, you have these combinations of strokes between the hands, and then in the spaces, in the cracks, you slot in the bass drum, and that creates this really powerful sound that you hear all over rock music. All right, let's get into them. I'm gonna break down each of these licks for you, first really slowly at 35 beats per minute, then at 70 beats per minute, and then finally at our goal tempo of 140 beats per minute. Here's fill number one, which has a classic combination between the hands. Fill number two is another really popular combination that works really well with fill number one. Fill number three adds a rough on the rack tom for a little added texture.
fill number four will definitely be the trickiest of the bunch. It has some flams that kind of move down the toms and it's in groupings of five, which is always tricky. So take your time with it and be patient. Right on, now let's put them with the groove and see how they sound together at 70 beats per minute. And finally, let's try them all out at our goal tempo of 140 beats per minute. And remember, this is after you work on them a good bit, okay? Take your time, get your reps in. 140 beats per minute, let's go. All right, I hope you guys have a great time working on these. If you wanna take this concept of linear fills further, I'll have a bunch more examples for you to work on linked in the description box. But thanks as always for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. You take it easy, bye-bye.